welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. Today we're here to talk to you about all the essential accessories and tools you should have for your pup. You ready, Herky? You ready? So today I'm going to share with you five essential products that you should have at home so you can take care of your pet and all his or hers basic needs. I'm going to start with obviously shampoo and the one we're using right now is from Vet Solutions. We got this at Herky's Vet. And this is an aloe and oatmeal shampoo, so it's going to be gentle enough on the skin for you to be able to shampoo your dog once every two weeks or every month. And a bonus with this is that it smells like coconut, so it's absolutely delightful when your pet smells like coconut. Like this one. You want to eat it? You can't eat it. And also along the lines of grooming, what you need is of course a brush. And personally for her key, since she sheds a lot, Cavaliers do really shed a lot. So I have two different kinds of brushes that I use on her about every day or every other day since I want her fur to stay groomed and nice. This first brush is from Wall and it's kind of a prickly brush as you can see here. And this is perfect to smooth out her hair. So I usually use this on her ears and uh, on her feathers around her stomach and around her legs so that it keeps them not free. And then for larger areas, I use this, which is a furminator. And if you're not familiar with this, it's really going to get rid of the extra fur on her body itself. And this is really great because it gets rid of so much fur, especially during shedding season right now as summer is coming in. And this is going to get rid of a lot of her extra coat that she had in the winter. So make sure you don't use this every day because it can irritate the skin. So we usually use this every three days. And then on the other days, I would use this one. Okay, next product is for her ears. Now, as you may notice, her ears flop over like this. So it's really easy for her to catch ear infections. Now, she's almost two years old already and she, she never got any ear infections or anything related to her ears which I think is based on the fact that I do take care of her ears once a week so make sure you start those cares early so that they get really accustomed to it the one we really like is from Bird's Bees and this is an ear cleaner with peppermint and witch hazel this is 99.8% natural so there's no harsh chemicals that you're going to put in your pup's ears and this is great because it smells really nice and it doesn't really bother Herky. So I, again, as I mentioned, I use this once a week and I would usually put a few drops on a cotton swab and then just clean out the outside of her ears and then I would drop another two drops directly in her ear canal and then massage it in and that way she's gonna shake off all the excess and her ears are gonna be really, really clean and uh, it's gonna prevent a lot of the infections too. Next is the breath and this is a big problem amongst uh, dog owners because puppy breath can go really really bad so what I would suggest is to again start with this really early uh, I started with Herky when she was about nine weeks old so she is really used to it we do this every day or every other day because oral health just like for humans is really important for pets as well so I got this dual ended brush and when she was uh, smaller we would we had another brush of course but we would use the smaller end here now that she's older and even if her teeth are really small we use the larger end here and as you can see she really enjoys the smell of her toothbrush and the smell of the toothpaste so just make sure that you brush your dog's uh, teeth so that they can have a healthier overall health as well because their overall health is actually affected by their oral health as well and with the toothpaste that we actually use right now is the Enzident Vet Solution. So it's the same company that makes her shampoo. We also got this at the vet, but any enzymatic toothpaste that you can find at pet stores is also okay. So enzymatic toothpaste is actually gonna help um, your dog get rid of tartar and plaque. And uh, this is poultry flavored, and this is actually good for cats too. So sh she really enjoys this, as you can see. She really, really likes the taste of this. So. When you get something that's meat flavored, obviously it's going to be a lot more attractive to your dog. It's good. And last but not least is nail care. And this is what I use for Herky. This is again from Wall. It's a nail clipper. Make sure you read the proper instructions on how to use this so you don't want to injure your dog. And I'll make separate videos on how to use these separate products in separate videos. But overall, this is what we use. We don't bring her kids to the groomers often. She's almost two now and we only brought her to the groomers once because we like to take care of her at home. So this is very important because you don't want your dog to injure itself when its nails are too long so you can just 
save some money from going to the groomers too and then you, you'll be able to trim their nails at home. Alright, so that was it for our video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know down below what you would like to see next. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate and leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer each and every one of the questions. And as I mentioned, we'll make separate videos on each of these products, on how to use and how to care for your dog. But for now, have a nice week everyone and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Okay, 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 okay.